Hi everybody, it's Rachel, the 15 Minute Lesson Planner, and I am bringing you week 31 already. It's safety week. So normally I like to do safety week just before we do summer to reinforce some ideas about road safety, fire safety and water safety, because these kids are now big and boisterous. They're normally ready for big school and I just like to have it in the back of their mind what to do if they if they need help and um, it's a really simple week we make it super fun for them and um, but I know that they leave the classroom with these ideas of what to do if they're in an emergency in the back of their head just in case so the first thing that we do this week is a crossing guard drama so this is just you know crossing the road in the playground, in the classroom, taking turns, different people in charge, following the rules. Uh, we're gonna make it really, really fun. We'll give people mommy and daddy roles. We can set up an entire village of people and nominate someone to be the crossing guard. So they will be in charge of all these different people. You can encourage the children to tell the crossing guard a story while they're waiting to cross the road. You can mark the road out in painter's tape. There are lots of things you can do with this drama. Really, really enhance the language, reinforce the community from September. There's so much and it, you know that if they're out playing during the summer um, and they see a road, they're gonna know what to do. The next lesson doesn't sound like a really fun lesson, but it really is, okay? It's a helmet demonstration and you're gonna read that or hear that and think, Rachel, what are you talking about? Um, but if you get the children to bring in their helmets from their bikes or scooters, um, if you don't have any, you can uh, go to a local bike shop. They're normally more than happy to come in and demonstrate. If the children have their own helmets, talk to the local bike shop if you have one anyway, and ask if they'd like to come and do a demonstration for the parents about correct measuring and fitting. The children can look at all the designs and the children can try them on. You can make it a practical life uh, or home corner exercise by doing the buckle and just make sure that they know that if they're on a bike or a scooter, they have to wear their helmet and that's that. And once the children see everybody wearing their helmet, um, it just kind of brings it home that it's not just them. Because I know a lot of parents have trouble getting the kids to wear helmets. So it does sound like a, like a strange lesson, but it is really, really good and it gets them talking and it brings that message home. And the parents are always really, really thankful that the children have seen the other children wearing them. Um, and not just the children, you know, maybe the bigger kids that are on their street or whatever, but but their peers in their classroom. The next lesson I have for you is a fire engine shape assembly. This doesn't have to be a fire engine, but we chose fire engine because it's um, fire, water and road safety week. So uh, get red card and black card or get the children to paint a uh, paper or recycle paper red or black. Um, cut out the shape so you want a large red rectangle. Uh, black circles for the wheels, a black circle for the window, you want to make a ladder, get the children to assemble it. And um, while we're doing this, it's a really good time to talk about the emergency number in your area and when we call them and why. Uh, the children really, really like to uh, hear that number. They like to say it. Um, lots and lots of praise when they do and lots and lots of praise during circle time when they tell you the right situations that they have to use that number. Um, <laughs> Some people kind of think that they're going to mess with that number. They're going to call it. But, you know, you have to trust that parents have their phones and the children aren't using them. And if they are using them and they dial the number, it's a lesson that, that we have to learn. So I'm not I'm not too worried about that. That's not something that comes. That's not something that comes up. So it's a really lovely exercise. You can do it with guard cars or police cars, um, depending on where you are. Uh, ambulances, you can do life rafts, anything that has really clear defined cut shapes um, and simple colours and get them to make it up. You can get them all to make their own one or you can have this on the shelf as an activity. It's up to you, whatever you do in your school. Another fire one next and we have stop, drop and roll practice. So I told you this is a super easy week. Materials wise, you need maybe four or five materials. That's it. So stop, drop and roll is what it says. It's a gross motor exercise. Um, and the children know that if they're in a fire, they need to crawl, they need to be on the ground. Um, if, they're, if they catch fire, if they're in a costume that catches fire, if they're near a fire and they're feeling hot, stop, drop and roll. Um, you can play this all throughout the week, so introduce it on a Monday. And then randomly throughout the week, just shout stop, drop and roll and see who does it. And it's really, really fun. The kids love it. Um, and just keep reinforcing that if you see a fire, if you smell smoke, and get down on the ground and roll. 
And the last one I have for you this week is a life boy ring toss. So you're going to put a cone in the middle of a group and get them to toss a hula hoop or similar. You can make these things out of paper if you want to do it in the classroom or make it a big gross motor exercise for in the classroom with everybody involved. And again, while you're playing it, you're going to reinforce that. Again, you're going to reinforce what a life boy is for. If we see someone struggling in the water, we're going to find the nearest life boy and throw it to them. They catch it and then we pull them to safety. If they're in the water and they get into trouble and someone throws them a life boy, they can hold on and then they will be pulled to safety. Um, show them how to hold it, show them how to throw it, see who can throw the furthest, make it a big game, but it's important that they know what a life boy is for and if they see it, they know what it's used for. So yeah, there you go, five lessons for you. It is super simple. Um, but as I said, it's really, really important. If you haven't checked out my curriculum guide that I have for sale, check out 15minutelessonplanner.com. Uh, go to the blog and download these free lesson plans and then head over to the store and check that out. So I have an international version without Ashter and I have an Irish version with Ashter. And I also have a curriculum planner up there where you can fill in all your activities for the base and emerging curriculums. It's really, really nicely laid out. I have a video on it if you want to check my profile. Um, and thank you so much to everyone who bought it already so if you haven't click like and subscribe please and thank you and i will see you next week for summer lessons bye